it was good man it's your boy Bex never NXT review and um I apologize I usually do the weekly smackdown but me and the bro switch it up you know what I'm saying shout out to the boy Chuck the God go follow him on Instagram go follow him on Twitter follow him on Facebook but follow him on Twitter though because he says that I have a uh, thousand followers but I don't but follow Chuck the God <laughs> yeah you got that Chuck that's free that's free promo right there but um, let's get back to this review, man. Uh, we start off with Joe in the ring. Well, actually goes to the ring with some paperwork. And he basically says that Nakamura will be out for 6 to 12 weeks. Uh, William Regal comes out and, you know, Samoa Joe was threatened, telling him to basically strip, strip Nakamura of the title. You know, Regal confirms that he doesn't understand how Joe has this paperwork, but the paperwork is true, but the timetable of him being out isn't. So Samoa Joe jumps out of the ring, goes towards uh, Regal, and you would think that he was going to beat the shit out of him, but he just tell him, I'm going to destroy your roster if you don't get that belt and give it to me. So get ready, folks. Samoa Joe is going to kill the NXT roster, bro. Start off the show with Tom Phillips and Corey Graves. Welcome us to tonight's episode. Come to find out Cedric Alexander will be in the main event tonight against Siano. I'll miss Siano. Uh, I might have said his name wrong. And um, it's going to be a great night. Backstage, we got Liv. She's saying she's not scared of Oscar. I'm actually glad that Liv is stepping up. You need these new girls to step up and challenge Oscar, who is clearly above the rest but you know you got to build up the suspense you got to build up more people in the women's division we get to the fish you first match of the night which is Oni Oni Larkin versus Austin Aries it was actually a good match you know um Oni's the guy that beat um the perfect 10 which was a shocker bro Ty Dillinger um, it was a good back and forth for fair. Uh, Aries was in control, but the moments that Oni did take advantage, he actually looked good. He did a um a running uppercut. Yeah, like he he gives me a European wrestling feel, but he's from Boston. So, you know, they're gonna call him the tough, rugged dude from Boston. Um at the end of the day, Austin Aries did get the win with a sweet brain bust that turned into his version of a GTS where he did a he got him up in the brain buster position and then literally brought him back down and need the shit out of his face, bro. And then went straight to the last chance. I love that finisher, bro. He's basically letting um Hideo Tommy that listen, I got submission, I got knockout finishes, all that shit. Hideo comes out, and what does a typical great heel does? casually walks out the ring and goes to the backstage area so i was pleased with the whole segment they will be battling that nxt takeover uh up next the new signee a guy named dan Ma matha all i can say is who's this guy six seven three hundred pounds uh ventilum has an affection for tall dudes and if they're not the undertaker or in this case uh cash or Diesel, I'm not gonna say Kane or the Big Show, something like that. I don't know what to say about them, bro. But um, yeah, we'll get on to more of the of the night. We get uh, we get some post match post CWC. I miss the CWC so much. DIY Chiampa and Gargano, they're continuing their feud with the revival. We will see a uh, rematch tap for the tag titles in the future. The next matchup that was on deck was Aaliyah versus Billy K. No surprise here that Billy K won. Um, I think Aaliyah has a good skill set. I like Billy K. She's gonna be a good heel, and um, I think she's actually gonna get a rematch with um with Miss Moon with Ember Moon. So I hope to see that we get another vignette of a faction. Which is Sandy. I thought Sandy was one person, but come to find out they're a faction. We get another backstage segment with 
Miss Mandy Rose. I love Mandy. Uh, she says uh, Ember Moon doesn't fit with the M with the uh, the caliber of the women superstars of NXT, which basically means Ember Moon's first uh, official rivalry would be with Mandy. I mean, hey, I'm not mad at that. You know, like I said, you got to build the women up. Liv is going to get a shot at Oscar next week. So that had to be a good match. We get to the main event of the night, which is uh, Cedric Alexander versus Andrani Cien. Almas, great back and forth match. Cedric got a great ovation from the crowd, bro. And the fact that uh, Almas was a face who could have played the heel role easily. I mean, great back and forth, man. I mean, this is something that you need to watch on the network. Uh, the end of the match saw Almas go for double knees, but Cedric catches him and hits him with this lumbar check, what I call the, this is the brother's version of the backstabber, bro. Like, that move is so official. It was a great debut. At the end, Almas shook his hand. He teased the heel turn, and then he hugged him instead. You know, I think that Almas is going to turn heel, and I think when he does, his character is going to take a big boost. So, I'm just waiting for the heel turn. It was a great night, NXT. I miss CWC. But Chuck the Guard will be back. Follow Chuck the Guard. Chuck yeah, the follow guard. Chuck the Guard, like I just said. But uh, follow the Internet Smarts, man. The Internet Smarts 1 on Twitter. Follow the Internet Smarts 1 on YouTube. Thank you for all the support. We see the followers are slowly but surely coming, following us on Twitter. Keep talking to us when we do these live recaps. We do these live tweets. We do the recaps, everything else. But um, we're going to have the news this weekend. There's a lot of news going on this weekend. We will recap all of that in our Sunday drive. <laughs> Basically, y'all. So I'm out of here. I done wasted y'all time at this point. But um, like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Peace. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Internet Smarts One for all news, rumors, and updates for everything WWE, as well as live tweets for all WWE programming.